What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. Today I want to talk about, for our Theory Thursday, talk about string thickness. Uh, it's something that's been talked about a lot recently and the best way to explain my preference in strings is to talk a little bit more about the stacked SI. To me, the stacked SI is the most important knot in lacrosse, and you're gonna see this kind of elaborated upon in a future East Coast Dyes Theory Thursday. Ooh, teaser, that should be coming out in the next few months or so. But basically, the stacked SI establishes what I've called a catch point um, better than any other knot that I've found. And you can, Bet your booty that I've tried, you know, just about everything I can find to the point where I was like to that Kiwi guy, Mitch Roberts, I was like, you guys stop texting me knots. I've tried like all 40 and I can't string a stick anymore because there's too many options and it's blowing up my brain. He, the mad scientist himself, you know, has been working on trying to make a more aesthetically pleasing stacked SI and to me it just hasn't quite had the same properties and part of it is because of how well the stacked SI works when it's just a very simple, regular SI. Okay, so you see kind of with a, a normal thickness on this string here, you're gonna get a good amount of wiggle room to have that knot slide around a bit. I'd really love to see how the knot flexes in a high speed camera. But what that stacked SI does is it makes this kind of catch point at about a 45 degree angle above the knot. And that 45 degree angle of the stacked SI is integral in the way it performs. If, and what you'll notice, if you knot it, if you put a knotted stacked SI, it's gonna shift that catch point down to more of about a 30 degree angle. What that means is that the ball is catching lower in the pocket and in your shooting motion, since you're naturally guiding the ball into a higher place in your pocket, it's gonna release a little bit earlier and not have quite as much whip when you shoot. So there isn't gonna be as much of a discrepancy between when you shoot and when you pass, which is kind of the whole goal of a catch point, is to have a stick that shoots a little bit harder than it passes. So extrapolating what we've learned from knotting the SI, when you thicken the strings, whether it's with, you know, hero strings are a little bit thicker. Um, the throne light kit is even a little bit thicker than hero strings. Uh, and then you get all the way up to paracord on the other extreme end, you know, the 550 cord that's incredibly thick. Having a regular stacked SI with a really fat piece of string acts not only just like a, like a, uh, a knot, but as you can imagine with this string getting thicker, it's gonna pull that stacked SI even lower, placing that catch point nearly vertically above that stacked SI, which, like I said, that's just gonna allow the ball to slip out a little bit earlier. It's not gonna be anything crazy, you know, the difference between, it's just gonna feel like more of a normal stick without a stacked SI, which is totally fine. That could absolutely work for the way you play, not having a stacked SI in your pattern, but to me, the stacked SI is integral into you know, as to how our sticks perform and and I think is one of the, the most beautiful parts of the performance of our pocket. The second thing is in terms of string weight, which at the low end of the spectrum is so insignificant, it's not even funny. Um, I love String King to death, but you know, they sent me some a while back, you know, before they made a few switches in their sidewall strings, they were like, here are some new strings that we're trying out. We're trying to get it even lighter. And I'm like, I think they're awesome, but it's a difference of like a gram, which is 1 26th of an ounce. I was like, it's awesome. They're a little thinner, they're a little lighter. There's no way I would ever be able to tell the difference with these in my sticks. Even multiplying it across four strings, you have four grams, which is, you know, like a tenth of an ounce. Um, so, the issue is though, as we start going up higher and higher on the thickness, hero strings weigh a little bit more than string king strings. I believe four of them combined to be around 16 or 17 grams sitting at a half an ounce. But on the highest end with the 550 paracord, now we're looking at, at four of those strings 
weighing upwards of 25, you know, 20 to 25 grams, and you're seeing almost a half of an ounce uh, to almost, you know, three quarters or a full ounce, depending on how much strings, how many knots you're using in your stick. And a full ounce, I mean, that's the that's the difference between a Nas and a, a heavier Lakota U. You know, it's the difference between the hammer, I mean, the tank and the optic. That's a, that's a pretty significant difference just to be tacking on in your strings. And you want to be shedding as much weight in the head as possible to begin with. That's why we try to have meshes like Otter Mesh. And, you know, the difference between Otter Mesh and Hero Mesh is absolutely the difference between a normal string and paracord. So by shedding that weight, it just allows you to have a little bit more velocity, drop the center of gravity lower in the stick, which is going to truly allow you to shoot faster. And, and something, you know, at the highest end of the spectrum would probably knock a mile or two or three off your shot speed if you're using a heavier string. So that's why we don't use it. That's why we stuck with String King. Um, you know, they use very straightforward products. Obviously, there's a lot of companies making really nice strings nowadays. Ninja Lax has, has hopped in the game. Jim Lax and Stringer Shack make really high quality things. Um, half of the reason why we use String King stuff too is because it comes all nicely packaged and it makes our inventory easier. But uh, it's a really high quality product. But just something, and it's not to insult uh, the Hero Strings or Throne Light kits at all because light kits they look unreal that's i mean that's what joe does best is make products that look really cool the hero strings are absolutely more durable than the string king strings are because they're thicker so you know there's there's definitely a market for each one of those things but overall in our opinion it's in my opinion own the eye hashtag own the eye <laughs> uh it's just a lot better to have a, a thinner string that allows for a highly functioning stacked si a really focused 45 degree angle on your catch point to allow you to maximize your shot speed, blah, 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 blah. That's all my spiel for Theory Thursday. Thanks so much, and I will catch you guys next time.